hopefully uh, the killer will perform as good as Evil Ed. Uh, and I think that because this film is very straightforward. We, we made a, a horror film that is a classic one, uh, inspired by the 80s uh, in its looks and uh, everything. We wanted to make a, a, a celebration to the, the 80s slasher movies, really. So even the music is very 80s. And I, I think um, it, it, the storyline is, is not that complicated. And it's, um, this kind of film usually works very well. So, so I think this will work as well. And how this idea has been generated from the story to the screenplay of killing people in a different way, which is very terrific. And please share a few words regarding that. Uh, uh, that question, I, I'm really wondering a little bit about it. Um, how the yeah, idea has been generated, you know, making the movie, I said, because the, the screenplay is very terrific. I mean, killing the people in a very... Much yeah, 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 you mean the, so uh, how, how, how yeah. we use our imagination to, to yeah. find out those gruesome ways to yeah. kill people. <coughs> yeah, that, that, that's, a, uh, that's a part of, of, of making horror movies, that you have to be creative in the ways you, you find uh, the killings, that, that they are something that you might not have seen before, uh, and use different techniques. Uh, and, and one very important thing for us was to not go so much into CGI, uh, CGI effects, because we, we don't think that that's especially good for a film. If, if, you, if you combine special effects, uh, CGI special effects, with practical effects, then you have a much more uh, believable uh, effect. Uh, and most films today, they rely too much on CGI, I think. So it almost looks like a cartoon instead of a real movie. Um, so, uh, Even uh, Linda Costumes, uh, she's put some extra designs for that. Yeah. It helps a lot, right? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. The costumes and the, and the, even the environment of the hotel was very important for this film. Uh, it had a very strange, strange look from the beginning. <coughs> and in one room, it's it's a red room, in the middle of the hotel with a very strange carpet, and the carpet goes from the from the floor up on the ceiling, uh, up to the ceiling. And so so we took this um, this pattern, and we made a wallpaper of it. And we, we put that pattern in many of the rooms you can see in the film. Um, it gives it a special look, really. And we wonder how you have got a thought of shooting an entire film in the same location hotel. And the trailer looked very terrific. So what was the curiosity to make this movie as such? And the man who plays the role as a killer, do you have any connection with the hotel? Or is there any specific place you reveal in the movie? Yeah, we, <coughs> we, we found this hotel on the countryside. And it was, was a very special hotel. Uh, it was abandoned, uh, so we could hire it for a small amount of money. Uh, and uh, we could also change a lot of how, how the interiors were. So we could change the colors of the, the walls, and we could put up wallpapers, and we, we could do anything we wanted, because they were planning to turn the whole building, building down. Uh, the problem was that there was no heat in that building, and it was very cold when we were shooting the film. So all the actors and all the crew were freezing through the whole movie. Um, we had only one room that was like 15 or 16 degrees, uh, so that was dramatic. But, but uh, <coughs> our actor Lars, um, Lars Betke, uh, he had nothing to do with this hotel. Uh, nothing, the ambient temperature is minus degrees, right? The, yeah, minus degrees. Minus. Uh, no, not minus. It's like like three plus. Oh. But it's like, like living in a pizza. freezer. <laughs> <laughs> living it's in a freezer tough. is pretty tough. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty <coughs> tough. Uh, but but uh, it worked. It worked. Um, but you had had a question about Lars. How if he had is the had man a, who is playing the role of the killer yeah. have any connection with the hotel as such? He, he, Lars ha, has nothing to do with this hotel. He's an actor and a, a, a musical artist. Okay. Uh, so he's totally apart from, from that hotel. Uh, but he was perfect for the role because we needed a, a, a physical uh, villain in this film. He should be like a panther, uh, very smooth in his moves. And um, if you see the film, you can see how he jumps over tables and he, he moves very smoothly. So he was perfect for us when he when he accepted the, the question if he wanted to be in the film. We were very happy because he's he's a really talent talent guy and and he also uh, is a dance choreographer. Oh. 
uh, and also um, the choreographer for fighting. <clears throat> so all the fights in this film, Lars is the, the director of, of the fighting scenes. And you are mainly focused and specialized in making good horror films. May I know why and do you have any special love for horror films? I've always loved horror films and uh, that might... I think that the, the horror films is always the, the genre that, that pushes the storytelling further. And it, and it, it can have something to do with lack of money, I think. <clears throat> because if you don't have all the money in the world, you have to be creative to find other solutions to solve the scene. And, and therefore, I think just horror films are doing that all the time and pushing uh, the storytelling further. So uh, it's a really fun genre as well. I, I love magic. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm in this business, because I love magic. Uh, magic tricks, magic uh, shots. Uh, so it's, it, 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 it's the perfect way to, to express the magic uh, with filmmaking by making horror movies, with a lot of practical and physical effects. Uh, it's um, like an amusement park for me. So you are the senior filmmaker who have been actively engaged in making horror films since 20 years. So almost the ancient movies are something different from the current generation, firstly. And for example, Evil Dead series has won the greatest box office in India and many other countries. Still, everyone is interested in Evil Dead series. And at the same time, our modern movies are very also good with all technical aspects. But yet, that are, there is a difference between ancient cinema and our modern cinema. So what's your take on it? What do you feel about ancient cinema and modern cinema? And is there anything to be improvised with the, our modern cinema, especially in horror or if any? I think, I think Asian cinema, uh, you, you can learn a lot from the Asian cinema because uh, nowadays um, you always want to, to, to solve everything with CGI and I, I'm a bit against that because CGI makes the film look fake, uh, like, like a cartoon. So, so for me it's, it, it, it's the perfect way of doing it is to combine the Asian in, in antique film or What's the word? Uh, in the antique? Uh, ancient? Yeah, antique. A ancient? Ancient cinema. Ancient. Ancient. Ancients. An ancients. Or medieval. Ancient, or medieval. Yeah. Medieval. Medieval. Yeah, yeah, you mean uh, back in the back. beginning yeah, of, the, yeah, of the film making? Yeah, film Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but, but yeah, that, yeah. that's the practical effects. That, that's the thing I think you should use in a modern film as well. Means, uh, they use art, art way of doing the films. So. Now the technology is with the CGI, so yeah. it's better to go. The yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you have to combine them. Yeah. Uh, and most of the modern films today are, are forgetting about that and yeah. thinks everything will work fine if you just have CGI, CGI effects, and then you end up with a film that you don't believe in. So a mix there is the best, I think. And you are the director and cinematographer of film, both very tough and technical channels. So how do you distinguish between both direction and cinematography, and how do you handle both at the same time? And have you enjoyed both? Is there any particular shots or reaction that you have admired and impressed of the killer? And if so, uh, what was the shot and what was the reaction regarding it? I, it? It's a huge problem to be both the director and the cinematographer uh, of a film. I, I know that. <coughs> I have done it before and um, uh, in Evil Ed, and, uh, another film that we made many years ago, uh, I was both the director and both the uh, uh, cinematographer. Hunger? Cinema Hunger? Hunger, not, not, not hunger, because uh, that was another Different guy, uh, <laughs> Rickard, who <laughs> went away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he left us and then we did the, the killer instead. Um, but it, it, it's a huge problem. So, so for this project, uh, the killer, um, I decided to take in a friend of mine that is really good in, in uh, just uh, talking to actors and uh, make them calm. So he took that part, and I could be concentrating more on the visuals, the, the storytelling with the camera, uh, and everything like that, and the light, of course. Uh, so, we, so we kind of split it, uh, the, the directing um, role in this film. And I think it worked fine, because then, then the, other, the, the problem is for me, that I'm getting so excited when I'm shooting a film that I forget about the, the actors. Mm -hmm. that are feeling well. When we're not filming, I forget about them. Yeah. And then, then sometimes it can lead up to some troubles. And what was the most terrific moment that you have experienced while developing the script when you were home alone? What was the most terrific moment you experienced while you know, developing the script when you were home alone? When you were at home? <laughs> at home. <laughs> 
maybe Ghost is coming. No, I think by, uh, we were really hooked um, uh, of the idea of making a film in a very short time. Uh, and, 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 and then be influenced by old films like uh, Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. I think it's uh, similar to that film, really. Uh, and also the 80s, 80, 80s slasher movies. Um, I think that was the, the, the thing that inspired. went us going. Inspired. inspired us. So, um, yeah. I think it was. And we read in the newspaper article you probably wanted to release the film in India and what is the specific impression that made you release them in India especially? I, I've always been fascinated with the, the, the whole industry, the film industry in India. Uh, Bollywood, uh, I, I've only watched it on TV and um, seen a few uh, Bollywood movies but not many. But, but I, 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 know, I know that, that the, this industry is the greatest in the world. So it's, of course, very interesting for us to try to show a film from, from our company in, and, and, and release it here in India with these guys. <laughs> and you. have you seen any Bollywood films ever in your life? I've seen a few. Um, just two, two days ago, yeah, we two watched... Days ago. Uh, so what was the reaction? What do you really feel yeah, about it? <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I, I love it. It, it. it was in Hindi, so I didn't understand everything. But uh, I, I actually think that filmmaking is more universal. It's not bounded to just one country. Because if you have a good story, everybody would love it. It, it, it doesn't matter if you're from, from the States or if you're from China. or in, If you have a good story, people will love it. Artist part. When did you have thought of reading the film in India and what the connection about, uh, what did you say about Dhanandi Lani sir, I mean, being connected, you know, professionally, how is the connection and when did the connection start professionally? Yeah, we got in contact with Jaggi and I uh, in this spring okay. and we were talking about film and we suddenly realized that we had the same goal in life and uh, that it would be nice if we could find a collaboration mm -hmm. in any way. And then we start talking about uh, the killer that we that, that we made, um, and uh, that it would be a great project to, to try out in in India, and we were all in for that. Really interesting. Being a producer, which elements or genre in the movie do you think has more commerciality in it? Horror, blood, action, love, romance, or other kind of movie has more commerciality in it, according to you? Which kind of a movie? I think it depends on what you are aiming at, but, but I, th I think a good film is always a good film. So it doesn't matter if it's a comedy or if it's a love story or if it's a horror movie. I think it all depends on if it's a good film or not. And do you think the kind of money you have spent on Killer is worth, I mean, or you could have spent more money on the project as such? What's your take on it? I think, I think we spent exactly the right amount of money on that film because it was made in that circumstances that we shouldn't have changed anything. I, th I think actually that uh, it's one of our most wonderful shoots ever. We had such a family uh, feeling in, on set and everybody was so happy and it was like we were camping in this hotel uh, together. Uh, so we had a great time shooting the film and it was um, we, d we really never had any great problems. Um, and the funniest moment and the bad moment by you were uh, shooting the film killer, what was the funniest moment you had on this like, and the bad moment? We had a lot of... Uh, the actors uh, really were, were pushed to the limits and that was kind of a rhetoric when Alida Mubari, one of the uh, leading female actors, she was being pushed away by the killer and she fell over a table and down on the floor. And we had our assistant uh, camera guy, he should throw down things on her, uh, looking like they were falling down from the table and all, all over her. Uh, but uh, we told him, you, you can't hit her with these things, like bowls and uh, forks and a lot of kitchen stuff. Uh, but when we took the scene, he threw everything right in her face. And that was pretty bad because her ears swelled up, and it, it was um, that was a horrific moment for us. <laughs> yeah, almost uh, hurt the, the the female actor. Um, but we, we we to sum it up, it it was a great shoot, and we all 
uh, want to do it again because it was so nice and we had so much, so much fun all the time. And, 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 and this thing being able to live on set, that we were able to, to sleep in this hotel, it was so practical because you, you had no uh, transportation. You just turn off the lights in the night when you were ready shooting, go to sleep and then wake up next morning and then you put on the lights and you start all over again. So it was very effective. But you know, one word to the producer, how do you extract the good job from the director? How do you handle Anders as a producer? What do you do? Uh, yeah, th th this question might be a little bit hard. <laughs> but, 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 but if, if you want to, if we can talk a little bit about our philosophy. Because we, we, have, we have tried to, to make films in different ways. Um, and we realize that the, 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 the important thing for us is that everybody during the shoot is feeling happy and feeling a part of, of the movie. It's a we project. Mm. Uh, so that was me and, and, my, and my colleague Henry Kuhlman's goal, that this pr project would be very light and very easy going and uh, um, that everybody would, should feel uh, well treated. Uh, and, and that's really our uh, philosophy, to, to keep down the size of the team. Don't be too many people. Instead, a lot of functions are multifunctions in the, in the crew. So everybody gets really involved in the, in the story and everybody works at the same goal. Uh, and I think that's, um, that's the way we want to make films in the future as well. So do you have any idea in investing in Bollywood film is uh, good script you as a producer or how do you choose the script to produce and uh, planning to co collaborate with Hollywood film with an Indian movie in the future? Uh, I, we, we would love to have a collaboration with the Bollywood uh, in the future. That would be really great. And uh, uh, we, we, only, we only want to do really strong stories and, and really reach out to, to the audience and, and to touch them in any way, if, if, if you want to scare them or amuse them or anything, but you, you, you want to make films that, that affects people. That's very important for us. Killer has been released in many countries and you know got good reviews in IMBD and Rotten Tomatoes as well. So do you expect the positive reviews from the Indian audience as well and uh, how do you expect about the film in India as well? Uh, it's almost like the question I asked maybe, uh, how, how I think about the audience and the reactions here. Um, I, I think that I, the no, first no, question no, uh, was he meant to say is like, uh, do you think the reviews are good and you know the kind of you believe it would be like highly hit movie, like possibly people it, like it or something. If it might be that, yeah, yeah. Um, hopefully, the film will be received well here in India, and I think uh, it's a story that that is straightforward and very classic, uh, and it uh, has a lot of shocking moments. So I really think that the Indian audience will appreciate this. And lastly, you know what the positive words you have to say about Dhanjay Glani sir and Jagdish sir and what you want to wish them in the future? Uh, one, one, one Regarding uh, Jagdish sir and uh, yeah, uh, Jagdish, Jagdish sir, yeah. Yeah. Huh? what do you have to say about you know, the it, it, it has been, It has been a pleasure to meet mm -hmm. these guys. Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we're so happy that we found each other mm -hmm. and um, uh, we would love to, to find a long-term collaboration yeah. in the future uh, and uh, for us it's exciting to, to be able to be a part of the India, India uh, film industry. Your own words about the film and how do you feel you know, releasing the film uh, Killer? I mean, how is the feeling coming right now? I feel uh, I watched, uh, I got a, a link from Anders so I asked him like uh, could you uh, see me, uh, show me the trailer. So I watched the trailer maybe around uh, maybe around night after my job. Actually, I wasn't shoot that time. So when I watched, I was like, <laughs> I don't know how to express uh, those moments. I was then I immediately contacted uh, DJ. So sir, we got uh, good projects to come up. So he said he asked me like, okay, show me that. So once he watched, I waited for this moment for almost two days. Then uh, he told me like, this is great, let's do it. So this is how it started. Sir, you know that you have been able to distribute 50 films in the genre, in the genre, in the action, comedy, etc. So what do you think about this film? How do you feel about this film and what do you think about this film? 
बहुत अच्छा महसूस हो रहा है जब मैंने हमने ट्रेलर देखा था इस फिल्म का तो काफ़ी अच्छा लगा था और हॉरर फिल्म में मुझे काफ़ी पसंद है क्योंकि ऑडियंस को भी काफ़ी पसंद है तो उसी हिसाब से मैं हॉरर फिल्म में काफ़ी ज़्यादा रिलीज करने में इंटरेस्ट रखता हूँ तो जैसे ही मेरा जैक्स ने मेरी बात की क्योंकि मेरा हॉलीवुड का सब प्रोजेक्ट का काम वही देखते हैं रिप्रेजेंटेशन उधर सब एग्जीक्यूटिव करने का तो ये जब मैंने प्रोमो देखा तो फिल्म मुझे काफ़ी अच्छी लगी और फिर बाद में मैंने पूरी फिल्म भी देखी तो बाद में मैंने डिसाइड किया कि इस फिल्म को रिलीज़ करना है फिर बात हुई हमारी एड्रेस से और बाद में हैंनरिक जी से बात हुई मेरी जैक्स की बात हुई फिर सब चीज़ें हमारी डन हुई कि हम इस प्रोजेक्ट को करना लाइनअप और आज हम साथ में बैठे हैं और बहुत ही अच्छा फील हो रहा है मुझे क्योंकि हॉलीवुड का एक अच्छा प्रोजेक्ट मैं करने जा रहा हूँ और उम्मीद है कि इस फिल्म को मतलब हिट ही होगी और आपने ही प्रोमो देखा है तो आपको कैसा फील हुआ फिर क्या लगता है आपको देखते व्हाट अबाउट यू व्हाट वाज योर फर्स्ट मूवी एंड रिएक्शन व्हेन यू वाच द मूवी यू नो यू वाच द मूवी व्हाट वाज द रिएक्शन व्हेन यू दैट केम इन आई आई वाज आई वाज माय फर्स्ट थॉट वाज अबाउट डायरेक्टर एक्चुअली आई आई स्पोक इवन मॉर्निंग आल्सो वी स्पोक लॉट अबाउट दिस मूवी एंड स्पेशली इट्स द कैमरा वर्क ही इज आई सॉ मोस्ट ऑफ इवन द वाज क्वाइट इंप्रेस्ड इवन विद हंगर even i'm so hunger to have hunger to, <laughs> yeah. to be here actually uh, about uh, the movie first uh, i enjoyed uh, his camera work which is uh, really great and his direction so uh, and second uh, the way he he foreshadowed the movie in t- from the start to the end of the the journey was uh, really interesting so i feel this will do well मुझे फील होता है थ्रिल है उस फिल्म में कुछ हॉर भी कंटेंट है उसमें पूरा मिक्स है सब चीजें जो बोलते हैं ना कमर्शियल एक ऑडियंस के लिए जो होना चाहिए जो कंटेंट वो है अच्छा कॉन्सेप्ट है जो ऑडियंस को काफी पसंद आएगा ये चीज Uh, what you know, if you know, if you know, 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 because uh, they always prefer good movies uh, respect of languages or whatever maybe they always prefer good movies i feel this will do better here do and, well. uh, what about the languages you are going to exhibit kis kis language you know what kind of language now uh, i am doing a uh, english language also i am releasing okay and hindi tamil telugu i am doing all four languages if i need uh, i can do also kannada language also but tamil telugu hindi english i can do for okay. release And what about the screens you are releasing? How many screens are you going to release? I am planning to release in India Hindi and English content in 2000 screens. Okay. I am just planning to. Okay. Let's see now uh, what is the situation because now Hindi Bollywood movie every day, uh, sorry, every week uh, coming lot of movies uh, now releasing. Now theaters counting very less because uh, before is single screens and lot of single screens in there. Okay. But now single screens very close because of when uh, GST started. Okay. So lot of single screens close closes now and now PVR, Cinemax, this uh, multiplex has come. and uh, corporate uh, you know very well this small movies and medium movies uh, nobody giving screening okay. that's why this is big issue okay. i'm trying to maximum screening i can take so how do you feel at last you your both of reaction so this uh, your and uh, the your reaction regarding how do you feel you know releasing this kind of movie in india and what's kind of i feel this is, uh, i i should say thank uh, dj because this is uh, he's doing a fantastic job mm. uh, and i should thank anders also So they're doing a pretty good job. I believe uh, Indian audience uh, will get blessing from them. Hopefully, it will be a good movie. So how, how do you feel regarding it? I'm feeling very good because uh, I have good team. Okay. And now Anders and Henrik also with me. Now I'm planning also start to some uh, joint venture with Anders and Henrik. I'm starting to Bollywood movie. Okay. Where this movie will uh, Hollywood's uh, people, uh, celebrities also there and Indian also. will mix up like will you you know very well pay watch movie right rock and priyanka chopra is there okay now this movie i am uh, doing same like this situation now sweden uh, celebrities also there now uh, bollywood celebrities also there okay. now mix commercial masala we do and uh, no, actually we discussed <laughs> <laughs> we discussed morning actually like uh, he was uh, saying about bollywood industry how they are tying up with the hollywood and hopefully it will it will take off soon and uh, believe, very soon uh, announce some secrets is a big thing okay. some uh, reality show live show but uh, now i don't want to say about this because uh, when pilot shoot 
after uh, I will tell to media and audiences, uh, everyone likes this actually, project because this is the first time come to India this project. So actually he meant to say like there is hidden secret behind this man, <laughs> their team, so you don't want to reveal it now. Hopefully people will see it soon. So thanks to you for your time. Thank you.